3 mistakes people make with master pages. You might be using Adobe InDesign in your word formatting project for your client or for your own brand. Obviously, it requires master pages. There is no denying that master page is a powerful tool, but are you using it in the most efficient way? If not, it might cost you a lot of time. In this tutorial, you will find out the three most common mistakes people make when using master pages in Adobe InDesign and how to correct them. Sit back and watch this full tutorial. Mistake number one. What if elements on the master pages are not showing up? This is actually caused by an issue with your layers. The first step is to verify that each element on your master page is in the right order. Check if the items on the master page are on a hidden layer. To check this, go to the master, select the object that is missing, and open the layers panel. Shortcut key is F7. Make sure the eyeball icon is visible on the left next to the layer to be sure that the layer is not hidden. Mistake number two. Master pages are not showing up. If you are having issues with your master pages disappearing, your files may have been corrupted. The fix is to export your files to an IDML file and then save them. This usually fixes the issue. Step number one. Export your document. To do that, go to file and then export. Step number two. Rename your document and make sure to save the IDML file to the same folder as the INDD file so that all the links remain. Try your master pages now. This usually fixes the issue. Mistake number three. Master pages conflict. You have set up every master page for your long document. You edit a new page, you drag the master page into a new page, and all of a sudden, InDesign will show you error message asking you, page number this has a custom page size. This page can retain its current size or be resized to match the new master. Let me tell you that each page in an Adobe InDesign document can have its own size. Controlled with the page tool in the toolbar, which lies below the selection tool. Select the page tool, shortcut key is Shift P, and click any of these pages in the Pages panel. Look at the Control panel. It's possible that one or more of your pages has a custom size. Click on the first page, check, Control panel is showing A4 size. For the second page, the size is still A4. For the third page, it is still A4. This one as well. Now, after I click the next page, control panel shows the custom size. Click on the drop down menu. You will get to see many size formats. Beside this drop down menu, you can see the width and height options 7 inch and 12 inch. So the possible solution is that you can simply drag the master page of the size you want and drop it on the page palette. After that, allow the InDesign to change the size of the page. I hope this video was helpful for you to work the mistakes and made you aware of any maybe in making. So that you correct them in future documents. Next time, you create a page layout you are pleased with Make sure that you save it for the future. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like this tutorial, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.